And I was like, I guess I'm a pro dunker now. Like, That's awesome. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> and you chafe a lot. What? Tony Crosby, Yo. professional dunker. Yes, sir. Steve. Tell me one thing people don't know about you. Um, one thing people don't know about me. Uh, I ran track in college. A lot really? of people probably think I played basketball. So, so you had no basketball experience, and you went to not that you didn't have any basketball experience. Basketball was my first sport. Yeah, and track was the one that paid for my school and had me go D one. So I'm like, why not? Try so you that? chose that. Yeah, it was a good yeah, choice. Of course. So now professional dunker you're playing semi-pro basketball correct yes sir i mean tell me about going from track to basketball you know, what's the transition like or does Honestly, it does it help it out basketball was my first love but being able to go from track to basketball like having that athleticism and explosiveness like next level and then getting back into like the skill work of basketball just made the game like 10 times easier easier so man, I should have ran track. So, yeah. kind of what you're kind okay. of saying. so I mean, what's it like being a professional dunker? I mean, did you think that was you know a, a logical like career when you were growing up? Like, I didn't even know it was a thing. Probably like most people, and it wasn't really like a plan. Like, I started posting videos on uh, TikTok a little after COVID. Then started posting workout videos. Then started dunking. Then did a few park takeovers when that was super popular. Did a dunk contest uh, with Ball's Life. Went crazy. Went crazy. My elbow on the rim over a seven footer, did East Bay over three people, and all the videos went viral. And from there, everything started. That's awesome. Yep. yep. It's a real social media, like, just, yeah, that's it, really it shot you up. And I was like, I guess I'm a pro dunker now. Like, that's <laughs> awesome. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> and you chafe a lot. What? I mean, I, you, you're, you know, you, you're athletic. Um, like, what type of underwear are we wearing these days? I uh, straight compressions. Compression. Yeah, I don't wear regular hands or nothing I'm like that. I'm a compression guy. Have to. Kind of That's, strike me as well, a brief you, guy. I don't this know. question shocked me because I was like, "Ew!" But I haven't chafed because I always wear like some sort of compression. The compression's big. Yeah. I mean, if it's hot, you can't be. I wearing don't wear cotton. any like cotton oh, box. Yes. I haven't worn those in probably years. No, since I was since that I was makes four, sense. maybe. <laughs> so why? So you? I mean, you're a dunker. Why do you take those little baby steps before you dunk? Are you like honestly constipated or something? I don't know when that started, but I was a high jumper, and that was part of my approach. And with long and triple, because everything had to be like precise, so I always had. Four little steps, and then I like hopped, and then I started running. So I guess I just took it to the. So court. now it's kind of like your routine, it's just to have it. I you think, think I was doing it in here because I feel like a lot of people do it. But yeah, professional dunkers. I mean, most people probably have their own little routine that oh, they yeah. do before. I never even realized that. In track, it was like a. I hated starting standstill because it's like you're supposed to gradually progress your speed. So I'm like, all right, if I have a little stop, I have like momentum going into it, and I can like. Zoom in. You can stuff. zoom into it. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Our, our cameraman actually was a track runner as well. I heard. Antoine Man, uh, I was doing big things. I wasn't on uh, his level. but So, NBA dunk contest. I'm sure you watched it growing up. I'm sure you watch it to this yes. day. Why do you think big names don't do the dunk contest? I feel like part of it is the fear of failure. Like, if LeBron James goes out and loses, it's like, oh, this random rookie, they got bound to beat LeBron James, and people I just... Agree blow it up so that's probably part of it i think a lot of it is the judging is too after like the zach levine yeah. aaron, Go aaron gordon judge yeah. um aaron gordon probably got robbed Definitely. Uh, that, uh, i feel like dunk, another they should throw another dunk in there they should the i mean i think they throw out 50s too much yeah but i mean what bothered what bothered me was like they had jamal crawford or somebody like coaching the dunk contest or judging the dunk contest yeah. he probably dunked less than 10 times in his career and i was like why are you judging it i experienced this all the time as a pro dunker and i've learned from start when i used to get mad i used, didn't used to get mad but like it's for lose, it's like frustrating like damn i feel like i should have got 10 for this whereas now it's like based on the judging you kind of never know what happens so you go you have fun and it's like I can't judge a dunk contest because I yeah. haven't dunked. Just do like, your what best. What do I know? I'm just judging what I think looks cool. Yeah, a lot of stuff looks cool to me. Yeah, you'll see with Chris Staples. Depending on where he's at, he knows exactly what to do. I see a Some fucking bird, and I think it looks cool. Yeah, it's like crowd control I mean, sometimes, cool bird. technical stuff yeah, sometimes. It's, it's like you never know. Got to read the room a little bit. Definitely. All right, Tony. This game it's called dunk or steak. Dunk. I'm gonna or name steak. a type of dunk uh -huh. or a certain cut of steak, and you're gonna okay. say. If I say a dunk, you're going to say that's a dunk. If I say something that you think is a cut of steak, you'll say steak. You, you get okay. it? Okay, yeah. you ready? All right, here we go. East Bay. <laughs> dunk. Windmill. Dunk. Tomahawk. Steak. Both. Fair. Double clutch. Dunk. 
That's correct. Okay. It is a dunk. New York strip. Steak. Correct. Honey dip. Dunk. Correct. Filet. Steak. Correct. Flank. Steak. Back scratcher. Dunk. Let's see how you did. Wow, you got all of them right. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, that okay. was impressive. 50 50. That was impressive. You have you won Dunker Steak. You won the first <laughs> Dunker Steak. I feel like it would be bad if I didn't win. It would be, it would be a very bad look. Hey, favorite college basketball program of all time? <sighs> My mom went to UCLA, so I want to say there. Go but to UCLA. I've got to say Oregon just because of the gear. I don't even care Oregon, about the team. Yeah. I just like their gear. Do they change the basketball jerseys for the team as well? I know they do it for no. football. I don't know if they do it for basketball. Mm -hmm. It just looks nice. It just looks yeah, nice. Just like, like every time I see their gear, I'm just like, that's fire. Hey, Tony, what was your favorite part about staying at the win? Favorite part? Honestly, the curtains, when I clicked the lights on, opening up, <laughs> Blew my mind instantly. But um it's a great touch. food was amazing. I wasn't a big steak person. Got a whack you down there. Priceless. Room service was amazing. Literally everything about the hotel. Everything's was, been great. Yeah, I have no complaints. What would you rate it one out of ten? Your stay at the win. Eleven. 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 Most definitely. Come on. Yeah, off I the agree. charts. I've had it such an amazing weekend. Like genuinely, I've loved it and I don't think I've been in a hotel this nice before. When you come back to Vegas, are you gonna stay at any other hotel? No. Or is it gonna be the win? Just the win. It's always a win at the win. <laughs> and I want some money downstairs. <laughs> Just a win in. All right, Tony, thank you for coming on, brother. Of course. Appreciate you. Boy, look at that dap. Look at that dap. <laughs> That's a professional dap.